It's Victory Monday here on the Raiders Report, and I want you to subscribe because the Raiders won. Sub for Raiders dubs. I know a lot of people are complaining it wasn't pretty. I don't care that it wasn't pretty. I sleep a whole lot better when the Raiders win. And you know what? I feel good. I feel ready to take on my day. And if you're ready for more Raiders wins, hit that subscribe button. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders board. It's Mitchell Renz here from Chat Sports. And today's show is sponsored by RexMD. If you got a hard time getting hard, I got something for you. Go to RexMD.com slash chat. It's the number one leader in men's telehealth. That link's going to be available for you guys down in the comments and down in the description of today's show. One person who probably uses RexMD when he goes to the Bunny Ranch, it's Jimmy Garoppolo. And coming up here on today's show, I got the latest injury news around the Raiders starting quarterback and what McDaniels could potentially do at the QB position if number 10 is unable to go against the Chicago Bears. And on top of that, I got Justin Fields injury news at the very, very end of the show. So let's talk about here the latest going on around Jimmy Garoppolo. Ian Rappaport this morning said that the Garoppolo could miss a game with his back injury. He did not play in the second half against the New England Patriots. He left that game early. And for those that do that don't follow me on Twitter, I tweeted out that Garoppolo was sent to the hospital during the second half of the Raiders vs. Patriots game. Remember, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's down there below, at MitchellRenz365. So Garoppolo, he was taken to the hospital yesterday for precautionary tests, and today when Josh McDaniel spoke to the media, his exact words were that Garoppolo, the Raiders, they dodged a bullet. And anytime you're dealing with a back injury, it can be scary. Anybody that's ever had back problems, shit. Go message Graphic Raider. He'll tell you all about him. It is a really, really rough thing. But to me, when I think of back, I almost wonder if they also thought maybe it was something like internal. It's really difficult to see because Garoppolo, obviously he struggled with some injuries in the past. But right now his status for week seven, it is up in the air. McDaniel said that they're just doing tests and just making sure that they can take care of all that kind of stuff. When Josh Jacobs was asked after the game how he feels about his quarterback and Jimmy Garoppolo and the injuries, Number eight said this, it's sad whenever you see, especially a leader in the locker room, get hurt or go through injuries, but it's also part of the game, man. Max Crosby, who ended the game yesterday with a nice little safety and a sack, with him and Bilal Nichols, I guess I should say, had this to say about the quarterback. For us, as a defense, we talk about it, but we want to be the reason we win the game. And no matter what, obviously, Jimmy's our brother. We're praying for him, and hopefully he's all good, but yeah. You've got to go out there, and you got to win. So it's as simple as that. We went out there. We did that, so we're excited about it. Now, I know this, man. I have screamed from the top of my lungs that I don't think that Jimmy Garoppolo is a very good quarterback. I have screamed to start Aiden O'Connell. But let's get one thing straight here. If you're putting this jersey on, you're a member of my family. If you're a Raider fan out there and you bleed silver and black, you rep the shield, you're a member of my family. That's why I'm a Raider fan, because the nation is family through and through. And I never want to see anybody get injured. I would like to see Aiden O'Connell potentially start. You maybe want to roll with Brian Hoyer out there. But at the end of the day, you never want to see somebody get injured. So if Garoppolo comes across this video, I want people to know, and I want him to know, that the nation's got his back. So if you could do me a solid here, show Jimmy G some love, spam those tens down below. Coming up next here on the show, what is the Raiders' plan going to be at quarterback going into Week 7? Are they planning on rolling with Jimmy G if he's able to go? Are they planning on going with the rookie Aiden O'Connell? Are they planning on going with the vet and Brian Hoyer? Who, oh, man, speaking of coming up, shout out to our sponsor, Rex MD. And if anybody wants to get this awesome gift, hey, I promise you, we're here to hook you guys up. So if you don't know, you can go to rexmd.com slash chat. Fellas, do you sometimes lack confidence in the bedroom? Do you wish? that maybe you could have a more fulfilling sex life. Well, you're not alone. That's why we're excited to tell you about RexMD, the online source for men's wellness. RexMD offers an easy and discreet way to get your medication you need for ED without having to visit a doctor's office. With just a few clicks, you have your medication delivered straight to your door and at a fraction of the cost of traditional pharmacies. RexMD's team of licensed physicians will work with you to find the right treatment plan, and their medication is made in the USA so you can trust its quality. Plus, their customer support team is available 24-7 to answer any questions or concerns you may have. 
So if you're ready to take control of your sex life and say goodbye to ED, head on over to rexmd.com slash chat and start your consultation today. Take advantage of their best deal that they've ever offered and get up to 95% off RexMD plus a free gift with our exclusive link, rexmd.com slash chat. So Nation, go to rexmd.com slash chat for this limited time deal. Starter packs of generic Viagra or Cialis are now available for our listeners to get started. That's rexmd.com slash chat for up to 95% off. 95% off. That's a ballsy deal. Shout out to Rex MD. All right, again, so coming up here, the Raiders' plan at quarterback going into week seven. McDaniels was asked about it today at his press conference, and McDaniels, as always, he just answers something, and you wonder after he answers it, well, what the hell are we talking about here? So this is what McDaniels had to say on the Raiders' quarterback situation. Certainly, I'm hoping for a healthy quarterback room in general, and I thought Jimmy was doing some good things, obviously, before he got twisted or hit. So we'll just we'll just patiently see what this is going to be and we'll make the best decision that we can. Here's the problem. I don't know if I really fully trust Josh McDaniels to, you know, actually make the best decision for the Las Vegas Raiders. And I agree with him in certain regards where there were some good things that Garoppolo was doing yesterday before he got injured. The thing that pissed me off the most that he did is I swear he's trying to get Devontae Adams killed just putting receivers in really, really difficult situations. And he was okay yesterday. He was 14 to 22 for 162 yards, a touchdown. But again, another costly interception and an interception that came in the red zone. Luckily, one of the only worst offenses in the Raiders this season is the New England Patriots and Ship. The Patriots haven't scored a touchdown, and it was like in two games or something like that. And then the Raiders' defense, obviously because they were on the field so much, ended up giving up some points. But Garoppolo was okay against New England. He needs to be better, though, and you can't continue to turn the football over in the red zone. I mean, you're just not going to have success. And Garoppolo this season has got a 68.0 completion percentage. He's got over 1,000 yards, though it's not very impressive seven touchdowns, and then he leads the NFL with eight interceptions despite playing, or despite missing six quarters of action. You know, like, Garoppolo hasn't been all that successful. But here's the other part. I want you to go back to the quote here for me, Chugs, because at the very end, so we'll just patiently see what this is going to be, and we'll make the best decision that we can. Does anybody here who's watching the show right now have any trust in McDaniels to make the best decision for the silver and black, because I do not. I know that the Raiders are 3-3. Three and three. I know that the Raiders have just won two straight games, but I believe that the Raiders are winning games despite Josh McDaniels. This Raiders team is winning because they're actually a halfway decently talented team, but they're winning, and they could be doing more, but your head coach is such a you-know-what, and to me, the offensive play calling is still just terrible. I do not trust Josh McDaniels. I don't trust McDaniels to go pick up my groceries if I order DoorDash. Like, that's how far out I am on this guy. So my question to the nation out there is this. Give me a yes, or I want you to give me a no. Should Jimmy Garoppolo be the Raiders' starting quarterback if he's healthy week seven? That's the question, right? Because to me, when I listened to McDaniels talk today, the, the thing that I got was if Jimmy G is healthy, he is going to be the Raiders' quarterback come week seven. My question to you is, should that be the case? Give me a yes or give me a no down below. Because for me personally, I think even if Garoppolo is healthy, he should not play against the Chicago Bears. I, I just don't believe in Jimmy G. I have seen it now out there on the field for multiple weeks. And I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, if you think that Jimmy Garoppolo is the best starting quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders, then I know a Nigerian prince, he needs your help. His name is Jeremy Chuggs, and I can also send you his financial info here, right? But the Raiders' offense looked better overall with Brian Hoyer than it did Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't view Brian Hoyer as a top 32 quarterback. Hell, I don't view Brian Hoyer as a top 40 overall QB. But facts are facts to me, and the offense looked better from top to bottom, from receivers getting open, from your running, running game getting started. Your offensive line, I thought, played even a little bit better. The overall team, to me, showed a lot more confidence. Yeah, you still weren't un, 
Still unable to put points on the board, but to me it wasn't because of Hoyer. It's because McDaniels held Hoyer back, and as soon as that offense got rolling, like they hit Trey Tucker 48 yards down the field, and McDaniels just went super, super insecure. He just went super conservative. He did not have any confidence in Hoyer, and I don't blame him for not having confidence in Hoyer, but here's the thing. I don't have any confidence in Jimmy Garoppolo either. To me, McDaniels needs to choose between Brian Hoyer and Adam O'Connell for Week 7. If it's up to me, I'm rolling with AOC, and it's really not even that much of a difficult conversation. However, though, you did see Hoyer go out there. He was 6 of 10 on the game, 102 yards, had a nice deep ball to Trey Tucker, and it showed that, you know what, maybe he can execute this offense. But my problem is this. If you're going to go with Brian Hoyer, you're essentially entering that game hoping to hit a single. I'm not trying to hit singles. I'm trying to find my franchise quarterback, and I'm not saying that it's going to be Aiden O'Connell, but I can guarantee you this. I've watched Jimmy Garoppolo play. Doesn't deserve to be a starter in the National Football League. I've watched Brian Hoyer play for basically his entire NFL career and some preseason action for the Raiders. Doesn't deserve to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. The only QB that it's still up in the air about, it's this kid right here. Coming up next here on the Raiders Report, major Bears injury news because the Raiders aren't the only team in the NFL that have some question marks at the quarterback position. I'm going to tell you what that Justin Fields injury news is, but remember, if anybody ever wants to interact with me on social media, I am at MitchellRenz365 literally everywhere. Venmo, Twitter, Instagram. Hell, if you want me to wish you a happy birthday on Cameo, I've gotten a few more of those requests recently. Also at MitchellRenz365. And then on Locals, I go live every single Wednesday. 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. So the latest here on Justin Fields is Fields left week six with a hand injury, and it was later reported that it was a dislocated thumb. His status for week seven, they listed him as doubtful, and usually when you get listed as doubtful this earlier in the week, chances are it's, it's not going to be very good for him to go out there on the field. And if he's unable to go, the Las Vegas Raiders would be going up against Tyson Badgen, I believe is his name. Like, so much of a name where if you saw Tyson Badgen, okay, walk past you down the street, there's a chance that Tyson Badgen could work at Dollar General. There's a chance that he could work at State Farm. There's a chance that he could be a head chef at any restaurant in Las Vegas. I know this. He could walk right by me, and I wouldn't know who the hell he is. So, to me, if you're not going to have Justin Fields out there, it's Tyson Badgen. But I also know this. The quarterback that I want to see out there on the field more than anyone. Oh, man. If we could get a Nathan Peterman, Aiden O'Connell showdown in week seven, the NFL would be smart. They'd put that on pay-per-view because I'm telling you all right now, I am buying that ish. For those of you who want to know what our programming schedule is for the remainder of the week, it's this. We're going to go live every single Monday and Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. Pacific. So I'll be live again tomorrow here on the Raiders Port. Then... We're going to be live on Thursday, and I'm kind of really excited for our Thursday watch party that we're going to be doing, Chugs and I. Jags against the Saints and Derek Carr. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how the nation reacts with us on that. And then an early game, so make sure that you get up a little bit earlier there on Sunday. Raiders, Bears in Chicago. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you got those notifications turned on because uh, it's going to be going down here on the Raiders Report.